Hey up, Vox Esto here, and today we're on the centre map for another Flat Spot special. <laughs> well, it's not a spell, I don't know why I said special. It's not really a special, guys. It's just going around the map looking for some flat spots for you to build in. Now, on the centre, let's just take this note. On the centre, there's a lot of these ruins and, like, prefab structures knocking about and stuff. Nice architecture. But uh, we're not going to be covering them because everyone, you know, they're always flat and everyone knows where they are. They're easy to find because they stick out like a sore thumb. So we're going to look for the other flat spots around the map. Help you get them bigger bases built without having to get them reds. We don't want them red placements. We're all in it for the greens. So without messing about too much, just like, subscribe and whatever else. And uh, we'll get stuck in, shall we? Let's go! Right, as you can see right here, we're going to try and get the outside map done first real quick. But as you can see, we're on one of the volcanoes on the lava island. And if you haven't been up here and haven't seen it, obviously you're missing out because this is like probably one of the flattest spots you can get. And it's a real good place to uh, defend in that. If you're on PvP, it's a really nice spot. You've got all the good teams around you. You've got all the good resources. You've got a bit of lava. You can actually place some pillars in the lava. It will take you a little while and it's a bit tricksy to do but you can place some pillars in the lava and actually build your base suspended on top of the lava which is a damn good approach to PvP. I mean people ain't going to be mucking about too much with you but if I uh, just come to this one as well we'll have a little look. It's Pteranodon's proper fast. That's its name. Proper fast. Look. Proper fast. Alright let's pull the uh, up. Pull the GPS out so you know we're there. 11, 9, 54, 9. I got the pin. Oh, I thought I put the pin on the map. I guess I didn't. <laughs> well, I, I set it up to have the pin on the map, but it's not there. Sort of where my uh, where my fingers are at the top. That's the Lava Island. So, yeah, let's crack on and find another spot. These are definitely good spots, though. We'll get them out of the way nice and quick. You fit loads of foundations up there guys, no problems. Right, this next spot is uh, one I built in Season uh, uh, 2 of Pooptopia PvE series and this is a really, really nice spot. I mean you could even stay a little bit hidden down here but look at this look. You can literally put as much as you want wall to wall down here. You won't have no problems apart from raptors obviously but uh, you've got all this nice coverage with trees as well if you want to keep a few of them natural protection either side of you and then if we fly up a little bit you'll even see we've got an overhanging bit here as well so you can build up higher build your bird storage up here whatever and we are at 28.5 51.4 i mean it's not bad for resources either literally just over yonder over there in those uh, trees about there you've got uh, some metal and that and a little bit of crystal as well so it's a proper nice spot guys i mean you're quite close to the water as well, and yes, you can. Oh, all right. Yes, you can get a moster down here. I've done it myself before. It's a bit of a tricksy bezler, but but if you didn't want to have water tames there, this bay is deep enough to get a moster right into the middle as well. So it's a really nice spot, guys. It's definitely one for the bank. Right, getting the spots out of the way that I have actually built up myself. We've got this snow biome spot right here. It's quite easy to get to early game. You just have to run up that side. You can get here quite quite quickly. And literally, this area around here, you've got all this bit here. I ended up building on this snowy bit here because it was nicer being closer to the cliff. But then it, it goes all the way around. Obviously, it doesn't stay flat all the time, but you just got to look out for it. Oh, there's a giga there. What's he doing? He can come out of the way. No, he don't want to. Alright, he's just going to knock about. Obviously, there could be a giga fall down into here, but it is a proper nice spot. So let's just quickly get the old GPS out so you can have a look. We're at 23.9, 32.5. So, proper pucker spot for right. you. Resource-wise, this ledge up here, just above the spot, has got a load of metal. And you couldn't get it any closer to your base location, really, unless you built on a metal spot. So all in all, that is a proper nice spot. You can't go wrong with it. You just can't go wrong. There's also like a few ledges all the way around. Some of them are quite slopier than they look though, so do be wary when you're doing it. Right, so next spot up, 
is this spot in front of us. You can see how flat that ledge is from here. It's absolutely ridiculously flat. Let's go over there. I did build a base here in one of my other vids. I think it was like the uh, the PvP upgrade wood to metal blah or whatever it was. But there's the base anyway. Now, as you can see, you got such a flat bit of land here. It's absolutely amazing. You got water source over here as well, just down there. You got a little little penguin island club penguin over there and some natural protection should you need it so we are basically at 38.7 12.9 and that's uh that's right next to the uh the other snow mountain not too far just just follow the river down bosh straight into club penguin it's all good it's all good it's a really nice spot the resources are rich so uh yeah get stuck in there Right, okay, next up on the agenda brings us to a spot where we actually built on the official No Tame server, the PvP series. And this is at 8737. And it's in the Redwoods, We're quite up high. I'll fly about in a minute and let, let you see. There's a cave right there with a lot of metal. But also you've got this metal and crystal right here on your doorstep. So if you build more towards the middle of this sort of sticky outy bit of land, you know, you, you're going to be away, and look how flat it is, guys. You can't really beat it. It's resource rich. It's in the redwoods, so you don't get as much griefing going on. But you see all that, all that crystal and metal. You got a couple of ponds down below with beaver dams and that. And then obviously you've got a, a cave in here. This is uh, full of full of more metal. There's absolutely metal everywhere. You get drop in here as well, which is nice. There you can see, just metal galore. Metal glorious. Right, so proper fast is too proper fast. Let's get out and have a look from it. This way. As you can see, it's quite high up. Obviously, you're not protected, like, completely, because you're quite visible, so. But it's a nice spot. It'd be easy to keep protected. Obviously, with a lot of plant X's, push people off the sides and stuff like that. You get the job done right so for a more central base location a bit more inland you got this spot here it's got a little couple of little nooks and crannies but nothing the foundation won't be able to see you through obviously the more the more inland you go here the better but uh obviously you don't want to go too far in because then you don't know where you are but look there you can see it's just above one of the uh one of these ruins look there's the ruins so it is it's something you could expand to. I mean, building in the ruins is one thing. If you want to do that, fair enough. But you've got metal right next to you up here. So you can have easy metal farm. And where are, where are we at? We're at 46.3, 63.0. So it's not a bad spot at all. Not a bad spot at all. Right, so this next one's pretty much in the swamp. We're at 53.9, 42.2. I'll try and get through this one quicker because I don't want snakes turning up. But if you get rid of these rocks, this whole bit against this uh, undestroyable bit of rock is completely flat. And I mean, it's absolutely amazing to build here because, you know, your only entrance is the swamp and a lot of people steer clear of the swamp. So you'll have all the swamp treats to deal with, but uh, you can reap the rewards as well. I mean, metal's not too far away because you can pop over to the snow mountains and it's where's it going over there and it's a nice spot guys i mean it's, it's small but it's efficient and obviously you could expand up onto the top as well which is obviously another flat spot to build on nice flat spot look oh we like them flat spots okay so here's a bit of a random one to note we are in the not the underworld but the under this side bit of the map like where the ice palace is up there you know where i mean and literally this this is one of the biggest spots where you know look at that i don't i don't think there's anywhere else on the map where it's this flat and this open so if you wanted to build the biggest base ever this would be a really prime location for it i mean resource wise it's not it's not good people i'm not gonna lie to you down here is horrible for resources because i started here on the no tame server 
start at the base down here and on that server with no dinos it's like next to impossible it's just no point I mean you got the ice palace and yeah that's all good and there's a lot of flat spots there and water sources and penguins and some metal and everything but if that's taken that's pretty much the only metal but it's just down here look the only other place you're going to get metal down here is if you follow the river from here and then scoot off the edge go all the way down to this ledge here where I built, built a base before and then you can see you've got metal and oil knocking about down here it's proper nice but that's also a really good flat spot as well but um, that's in a different video you can watch that or whatever but this spot here let me just show you the chords for it because I didn't we are at 4114 and it's literally if I look at the map it's literally on the left hand side of the map right on the left you see where it says about it's about 40 50 sort of well you can see it's 41 so but it's under the under the floor on the west side I'll quickly fly out because some people might not have even been down here might be new to like this map or whatever so if I just fly out you'll see you'll see where I am you can get here on foot like there's pathways down to it but just flying up there you go there's the obelisk oh it's not loading in there's the two snow mountains and then the the floating island literally just go off the edge go down and then there you go there it is so that's like the other un under underground bit but not the underworld just a uh, quick take a note um the top of the uh, floating island itself i mean it rings all the way around if, if if you're just on foot you can find multiple spots up here obviously there's the under the waterfall bit as well where i built that cell style base and that's obviously really flat in there sorry about the speed of this tarantula it's like way too fast isn't it but uh nearly all the way around this is completely flat so if you wanted to build up here if you could hack living on there then it's a good spot if you ain't got flies on your server it's pretty boring and then there's also this is like one of the really good locations for a uh, pvp but as you can see it's it's not flat you're just gonna have a hardship building here so that's what all these flat spots are about making it easy to build and expand and build big and do what you want really so if you're looking for your own little deserted island this is probably the one i mean it's the most close to resource one because these little islands don't have resource on them so i mean you got skull island there batman or whatever they call it and then the redwoods and a little bit of natural protection and the majority of this is flat so it's not really not really going to be a problem to build on at all we're at 69.258.9 we're also really close to uh, the water entrance for the underworld so getting into that cave system which is i think it's just under there so that's really nice for that obviously with with all the whales and that in the game you don't you might not want to be rafting about but it's not too hard to build a bridge because you've got a little tiny island halfway so it wouldn't be too too bad to bridge over it if you wanted to but yeah that's a really good spot and i think i'm going to end it here because i could literally go on all day about these flat spots but uh <laughs> yeah you don't you don't want to see them all you don't want to see every single one of them so uh yeah basically guys hope you enjoyed the episode again I'll try and get one done on Scorched Earth for you as well to finish off the little mini series on Flat Spot. And uh, if you like the episode, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, come back, watch some more, chill out with me on like one of those plays or whatever. Let's get stuck in, guys. Cheers for coming to hang out and watch the vid, and we will see you next time. Take it easy. <laughs>